The head of the World Food Programme has condemned the international community for not stepping in to avert a potentially devastating famine in Afghanistan. The organisation is warning that around the world, 45 million people are now on the edge of starvation in 43 countries. They say in Afghanistan, millions will die within weeks if the international community doesn't help. David Beasley has described the next six months as potentially hell on earth for the country. It is as bad as you possibly can imagine. In fact, we're now looking at the worst humanitarian crisis on earth. 95% of the people don't have enough food. And now we're looking at 23 million people marching towards starvation. Out of that, almost 9 million are knocking on famine's door. The winter months are coming. We're coming out of a drought. The next six months are going to be catastrophic. Well, our World Affairs editor, John Simpson, is currently in Bamiyan in central Afghanistan and gave me an update on how desperate the situation is on the ground. Well, it's getting bad. And what the World Food Programme people and uh, David Beasley and others are trying to do is to attract the world's attention, not to uh, a disaster that's underway, but the disaster that could happen really within a matter of weeks. So that here I am in Bamiyan, which is one of the main centers of, of hunger. It's also, of course, the, the place where uh, the Taliban 20 years ago blew up the sixth century figures of the Buddha. Um, but uh, they, you wouldn't really get much sense that there was hunger right now because the shops have got a lot of food, particularly fruit, which has been grown over the past few months. But there has been a serious drought here and in other parts of, of, uh, of Afghanistan, and that's causing all sorts of problems. I, I went to see just this morning uh, a widow who's got uh, seven children. She lives in a, virtually in a hut uh, just up the mountain, almost beside the Buddha. And uh, her children are aged from about 16 down to about three. Uh, her, her husband died some months ago. She is absolutely on her last legs in terms of knowing how she's going to feed the children. It was extraordinarily moving to speak to her. I have to tell you, it was difficult to listen to her without tears running down your face. But she, um, she, like millions of people in this country, can just get by at the moment. Directly, the weather gets worse. She'll be in serious trouble. I mean, the World Food Programme is warning about famine in many countries. And the particular dilemma is how do you help people in Afghanistan without propping up the Taliban? Well, that is the big problem and that's of course why uh, so there are so few foreigners here at the moment why uh, so many aid programs have scaled uh, their operations down to some extent uh, the the widow i spoke to said that she could easily get um, uh, enough oil and flour under the old government but directly the taliban came that all finished um, the Taliban themselves are showing signs of real fear about what's happening. And the suggestion is from David Beasley of the World Food Programme, for instance, that they're actually helping uh, quite, uh, quite strongly to uh, get food um, uh, sorted out because they know that if, the, if there really is a, a question that 25 million people are, are in danger of starvation, that will destroy the country and destroy the Taliban as well. So for the time being, the, they, they may have acted appallingly badly in all sorts of parts of this country, but they're desperate to get a bit of outside help.